Welcome back, database. Nice. Let's let's continue. I honestly don't know how long these videos are gonna be, to be honest. Who knows? I might just add two episodes together. Who knows? Hey there. I'm sure glad to see a friendly face. I, uh, I don't suppose you could give me a lift to the nearest telephone. Uh, I got cash. I'd, I'd be happy to pay for your trouble. Are you alive? <laughs> well, I, I seem to be. Not by much, I reckon. Do you, uh, do you, uh, Meet a lot of talking dead people up here? You'd be surprised. Right. Right. Well, if I could just get to a phone, I need to, uh, report a... an accident. No phones. Well, there's gotta be a highway or a... No roads. Passes are all snowed in. <laughs> My cabin's ten miles west. <laughs> are you feeling all right, friend? You look pretty sick. So much for the rescue party. We need to get out of here. <coughs> Help me to the sled. <coughs> the dogs know <coughs> the way home. Well, you heard the man. Ooh, Get dog away, sled. Boy. Let's hope driving this thing is easier than it looks. Considering you have to steer a dog sled by command. Move. Forward. Faster. Come on, run, go. Giddy up! Oh, come on, you stupid mugs. What are you waiting for? Uh, how do you say step on it in Eskimo? Mush? Or hike. Or hike, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, these, yeah, these scenes are not as, these dog sled, dog sled section is actually not as bad as you might think. Yeah, so how's everybody doing? Whoa. Faster, faster. Yeah, I don't remember which one is to go which. You pretty much steer it by command. You either say mush or hike to go forward. And then you say G or ha to go left or right. I don't remember which one is which, but... Home sweet home. Must be the cleaning lady's week off. I don't suppose you got anything to eat. Sergeant J. Winter Fox, 82nd Airborne. The old man was a ranger? My friends call me Jonah. He's Togo. Logan James. My guess is you're hungry. You guess right. I'd be happy to cook us up some breakfast. Can't help you there, son. Nothing left to eat. You're all alone up here? I go down to Jenner Station once a month. Visit family, pick up supplies. This month I was too sick to make the trip. <coughs> I figured somebody would come up to check on me eventually. Then the storm. How long has it been since you ate? About a week. The dogs are starving. Oh. So last night I dragged myself out of bed and went hunting. Find anything? Just some half-frozen city slicker. Not very appetizing. Yeah, lucky for me. I did a little hunting when I was a kid. Why don't I take a look around? Maybe I'll get lucky. Better take the dog with you. Yeah, good idea. Again, it's... Again, these hunting things are... 
And um, this is actually one of those Cabela's games that feels more like an action game than it does, you know, a hunting game. Like, there are some hunting in it, but... Like, what we're gonna about to do right here, so... Alright, I forget what you're supposed to do here. Was I supposed to follow the dog or forgot what to do? Say that any place has a path, let's do it. Whoa! It's kind of a long jump, not very realistic, but oh crap. Oh, just wait till you get. Wait, wait till you get to some even more pesky critters. There's. Yeah, so a lot of the game you're just kind of climbing these mountains, but... September 6, 1937. It's been three weeks since we've set out from Anchorage, traveling overland by rail and dog sled at the south face of Mount Kadmai. The boys are in good spirits, and I can tell I've picked the right men for the job. Thomas, Layton, and Render are all tough, seasoned prospectors. The stories about Craddock's claim are true, we'll find it. And before the winter comes, we'll be going home rich men. Alright. Fair enough. again. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, so... So I've forgotten a lot of things. I knew there was something around here. has to be around here, it has to be. Is 
in a specific spot. This really puts the timing pacing off, which really sucks. Well, the question looks like I have to go this way, but the question is where... Was pacing off. Oh, there we go. Oh, frig. Frig off. Frig off. Oh, there we go. I think I remember having trouble with that on the first time, too, to be honest. How'd that dog get over here? It's weird. Seriously, you could take these predators home for dinner, most likely. Why do you go after a moose when you can freaking get a predator that attacked you and cook it for dinner? Frick off, crows!
Frig off, Randy. <laughs> Trail of Heart Boys episode. <laughs> no, or should it be Trail of Heart Boys reference? September 27th. After three weeks on the mountain, we've yet to catch a whiff of that gold. No trails or... I really don't know how long this is gonna be, so... Seriously. Seriously. I be... I... I don't know how... How, how some people can do this. It would frighten the living crap out of me. Frag off, crows. They're probably ravens, but I don't know. Running far, huh? <sighs> how do you... How do you start a campfire again? I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. Knock the microphone over. Hunt one moose, huh? Sometimes I feel I, I found I would think living up in the mountains actually wouldn't be so bad. How the dog get over there is my question. Oh, whatever. I'm just forgetting stuff. Off once again. It's literally like I've been sprayed by that amnesia spray from freaking penguins of Madagascar. If you haven't seen that, if you can find it, look it up. Look it up. It 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 is funny. I mean, it is funny. What's this? Amnesia spray, fantastic. What's this? Amnesia spray, fantastic. What's this? Amnesia spray, fantastic. Woohoo! Okay, no. We are not hunting a moose with a handgun. That's not practical whatsoever. There we go. There we go. Whoa, what's that? Another moose? 
Don't mind if I do. Again, it has hunting elements, but but for the most part, it's mainly just climbing. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I mean, at least that, at least it fits more of that than that. But then Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2. I mean, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2 is all right. It's just difficult, and it's again, it suffers from the same issues that I feel a lot of later ones suffer from and that is later Cabela's games suffer from and that is and and that is I feel that with it being story driven it kinda turns it more into well I mean there's some some of the games do it right do it right with being story driven but the But a lot of times, they just, a lot of times, they just, they just turn, they just turn out feeling more like action games, Ga games rather than, rather than, you know, hunting games. And I have a feeling... I have a feeling that Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2 probably started that whole thing. I can't be sure. And you can say what you want about the original, but I still think that one is the better out of the two. Two, but that's just me. Oh my gosh. Frig off! I cannot imagine reloading a gun on a cliffside. Which which I've never had to do when firing a gun, so Whoa! That, that was almost unrealistically safe. Alright, here we go. Let's go back to the handgun. What was that white fang right there? switch the gun. There's no way I'm taking the bear down, down with a handgun. Whoa! And the dog is doing nothing to help. Ah. My house. If you don't like the rules, get out. Go on. Get lost. John? Were you oh boy. Uh, talking to somebody? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Something like that. One of those dead people you mentioned? Not all spirits are people. Oh. Some are animals. Some are demons. Okay. Demons? Whole mountain's lousy with them. Some of them aren't so bad. They keep me company. But now and then, they overstay their welcome. Do these spirits ever talk back to you? 
course they talk back. Wouldn't be much of a conversation otherwise. Did this start when you got sick? Oh, they've been coming around for years. Since I got back from the war. <clears throat> I thought you oh. might be one of them when I saw you laying there in the snow. Can't be too careful when it comes to spirits. Why is that? Not all spirits are friendly. This mountain's got more than its share of the bad ones. The Chachka and the Deer Woman. That old witch almost had me this morning. The Deer Woman? Oh, she's a bad one. A trickster. Lures hunters to their deaths. I heard her calling out to me during the storm, asking for help. Even Togo heard her. But I knew it was a trick. This Deer Woman, where did you hear her? Was it near where you found me? Near enough. Down by the waterfall. Oh my god. Hey, don't worry about the dear woman, son. She's long gone by now. She must have survived the fall, but how is that possible? Shouldn't talk to yeah. you so much, son. People will think you're crazy. <clears throat> I need to borrow your dog sled. I'll be back before sunrise. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, war can mess you up, without a doubt. Alright.